あ、川口森之助でございます。日本語でよろしくお願いいたします。川口、and I would like to speak in Japanese. Today, I would like to talk about the advanced toilet that we have in Japan. As you can see, this is the,、uh, the toilets are multifunctional. You go in, from the time that you go in and do your business to the time you walk out, I'd like to go talk about it in detail. First of all, I would like to look at it from the perspective of a toilet that does everything for you. First, you walk in. The lid slowly opens. It's, it, it's as if it's saying, Welcome. It's very、uh, friendly. Of course, once you're done with your deal, it automatically flushes for you. And then, when you're ready to wash your hands, and then the soap comes out. And after that, the water comes out as well. And then, and then the、uh, hand wash function washes your,、uh, wipes your hand dry for you. And also, the maintenance it sometimes the water comes out and it, and it protects you from getting dirty. And also, the shower nozzle also has a self cleaning function. And there's also a pocket to put a detergent in next to the toilet, and therefore the toilet washes itself. And as you might have already realized, as, as you do your business at the, in the toilet, and then you don't touch the toilet once, it's like as if, if you're in the operating so if, if you like you're in the operating room. And this kind of、uh, highly skilled、uh, robot is also, does also has a warm heart. During the winter, when, you, when you're about to sit on the,、uh, on the seat, it's a little bit cold and it requires a lot of courage. And in Japan, it is obvious that the、uh, seat is warm, it is always warm. This is something that foreigners who come to Japan are surprised about. However, people who are concerned about the environment complain that, that it's, human, it's friendly to humans, but what do we do about the energy that we're wasting to heat up the seat? The technology people have thought about this. The sensor senses that you've stepped in, turns on, and heats up the seat for you. And in this way, the ecology problem has also been resolved. And why is it six seconds? It, it doesn't、uh, warm up slowly. There's an infrared lamp that heats up in six seconds. This is a very thankful technology. And why is it six seconds to begin with? Well, there is plenty of marketing data. It says that 80% of the people take six seconds to sit on the toilet seat. And so, except for cases of emergencies, this, this is a very useful、uh, tool for us. And then, Japanese toilets are, are well known for their shower toilets. This is a very、uh, proud technology for us. It, it, came, it was born in 1980 and has been growing exponentially. And now, almost. 70% of households have the shower toilets and they've modernized their toilets. And once you're used to this, you, you, you become worried that you can't live without this toilet. And therefore, so what do you do when you go outside? You have nothing to worry about. There's a service <laughs> that has a radar. You turn on the radar, you look into Tokyo, and then you, you focus into Shibuya, and it tells you based on. If you have a GPS、uh, mobile phone, it tells you the, most, the closest available toilet for you. This is, what's,、uh, this is a consumer generated me media, and therefore the information that the consumers have is, is loaded up into the website. And how about the、uh, countryside? Turn on the radio in Russia, in Vladivostok. You can't find anything in Vladivostok. What do you do? Oh, don't worry about it. There's a mobile version of the shower toilet. Just don't leave home without it. And there are plenty of ladies here today. And, and there might be some、uh, noises that you don't expect. It's, a, it's, it's quite embarrassing. What do you do? Here's the answer. When,、uh, since Edison、uh, created the phonograph, and now finally, there is now a camouflage. 
It's called an otohime or a sound princess. It, it's there to camouflage the sounds that you make in the bathroom. And from the camouflage family, we have plenty of different options. There are different branches that come out of the camouflage tree. And what has been focused on lately is the portable version. And I, I brought one today with me. And it makes this kind of sound. <laughs> and everything is okay. And don't leave home without it either. And actually, there's quite an ancestor of the camouflage. 300 years ago in the Edo era, there was a uh, sound eliminator pot. You turn the tap and the water comes out. It's, it's, it's water that comes out just purely for camouflaging the sounds. In other words, pe Japanese people were shy all the way from 300 years ago. And as, let's talk about men. Everyone has a water pistol. Every male has a water pistol. And all male are hunters. So there's a plastic fly. So you step forward so that and, and do your business so that you don't dirty the area around the urinal. And this has also been engineered. This is a thermal ink. And so as you as you urinate on it, the fly slowly disappears. And so you've terminated it. And now there's even an LED version. So even at night, you can uh, target in the right direction. And now I'd like to talk about hospitality. Uh, Japanese, if you go to a Japanese hotel, the toilet paper has been folded. And this is a sign that housekeeping has completed uh, their job and cleaned their room, cleaned your room. This has also been engineered. Uh, this marivois. With a single action, the fold comes out. It's quite some technology. And also, origami is a Japanese culture. There are plenty of, of uh, maniacs, devoted people, who have created these kind of toilet papers. This is the new type of mervoir that creates a crane. Maybe this is what we can expect from now on. And let's talk about the ecology. Let's look at the Japanese toilet. This is a type of toilet that we had from a long time ago. And first, there's the reuse function. In other words, the, the wall hand washing section goes to, wa to flush the toilet for the next person. And then there's uh, two levers for um, the number one and number two. This is quite uh, common in Japan, but this is not something that's been used uh, abroad very much, and therefore I'd like this to be uh, diffused across the world. And there's also uh, advanced technology, for example, pump versions, turn trap versions, and, and whirl flush versions. And therefore, you use less water for flush, and four th uh, three quarters of the amount of water used. And the last topic I'd like to talk about is hy hygiene. As I mentioned before, Dr. Touchless, Dr. Touchless has to touch at least his bottom. So what do we do? And the, the answer to this is the science fiction type toilet where the film comes out onto the sea. But this has actually been implemented since the 1980s, the spaceship type uh, technology in the uh, express trains in, to in, in Japan. And I'd like everyone to uh, enjoy this spaceship experience. And I'd like to think about the future of toilets. And what has been uh, developed right now is a health check function on the toilet. And therefore, it measures your, your urine uh, sugar level. It uh, measures your weight, your fat rate, fat, body fat ratio, your blood pressure. And on the internet, it uh, monitors your record, your clinical record. And therefore, it might even become a doctor for you. This is a very thankful thing for us. And so I'd like to summarize. And so throughout this whole process of the toilet, and this is, uh, works towards the mentality of the Japanese people, sometimes it is hygienic, it is uh, healthy, and sometimes you consider about uh, delicate situations, the ecology, and it even thinks about how to be fun. And so this is, this is the result of finding uh, what we can do with toilets. And this is something that is is uh, something Japan can be very proud to be of the Japanese uh, super toilet men. Thank you very much.